Hello people, this is Keith and Modesto doing my Let's Play Minecraft series using Feed the Beast and Darwolf 20's mod pack. Alright, uh, it's been a while since I've done a video. I guess I should apologize. Work has been really busy for me uh, for the last two weeks. And uh, so I've been I've been dealing with that and and not doing much with Minecraft. But today, I guess I want to finish building, building some, some steam, wow, that seemed louder than it was a moment ago. Well, anyway, I want to, um, maybe that'll help. Okay, I wanted to, I want to finish building some steam engines down here that I placed down these uh, cobblestone blocks to show where they're going to be. Where I'm going to place them. These are going to be running on charcoal since uh, I'm getting lots of wood from the um, uh, from the uh, tree farm upstairs or outside upstairs outside um, and I have lots of charcoal already so um, oh it's over here I've got I've pl already placed a lot of the uh, a lot of the stuff I need, I already put in in here. All right, so I just gotta grab this stuff. I got all this stuff ready like a week, a week and a half ago, I think. So I have to, I have to remember things. I'm mean, starting to get some comments on my videos, like someone suggested that I should try being funny, funnier. <clears throat> I guess that's, I guess that's a good idea. I could, I could try to tell some jokes. I thought of one. Uh, so this creeper walks into a bar and uh, orders a drink and the bartender asks, so are you new in town? And the creeper says, how, how was that? Was that funny? I'm, I'm not really sure. Probably someone could come up with a better joke than that about creepers in bars, but it seemed like it seemed like there should be a joke like that. Uh, so I tried. Okay, uh, so an engine there should be. Whoops. Yes, I made seven engines, seven steam engines right here, and I have a right. Whoops. Ugh. Okay. So I have a. See, this thing happens with my cursor jumping around. I think it's some kind of Java thing. It's really annoying. But anyway, so I thought I would show the crafting of the. Uh, or the recipe, where is it? Um, steam engine. This uses, uh, this is from Thermal Expansion. It uses copper, lots of copper. It's got a redstone transmission coil and a piston. And redstone transmi transmission coil uses a redstone and, and a uh, silver ingot. And, and a piston, of course, is vanilla. Um, main copper gears. Actually, there's two different recipes for copper gears. Because uh, there's two slightly different kinds of copper gears, I think. No, no, no. This one. This one is the one that's based on stone gears. I guess that's from Buildcraft. Anyway, so I, I put a... I put a recipe for... I made a recipe for making these steam engines in the, uh, in the automatic assembly... Thing, I forget what it's called, but anyway, so I can automatically make them. We'll just make one more, so I, I'll have eight steam engines to use. And of course, I can add more. I'm a little bit low on copper right now. I've got another quarry running to start bringing in resources. It hasn't actually, I think it's just building itself right now still, clearing clearing land and stuff. Um, anyway, so these uh, these steam engines, what they do is is they burn at some kind of solid fuel like wood or, or charcoal or coal or I suppose it might they might burn blaze rods too um, but they also need water they have to be fed with water um, because there's there's steam engines and they they run on water so um, I'm gonna use the same kind of layout as as over here which means that the um, this uh, the conduit is gonna be running down the middle and there'll be two lines of uh, engines but I need, <clears throat> let's see, uh, but I need water. Now, um, with these magmatic engines, they just run on um, on lava. 
right, and the pipes that are bringing lava into the engines are running along the bottom. I'm going to do the same thing, only the pipes below these, um, below these things are going to be um, bringing in water. Now, of course, I also have to bring in coal, but in this case, the coal is not going to be piped in. It's going to be brought in using routers. This is something I tested once a long time ago to try something, some stuff out, uh, to test some stuff. And what I was trying to do then, this was like two months ago or something, what I was trying to do then didn't work, didn't really work the way I, I was hoping. I forget what the problem was, but there was some kind of problem um, with getting the routers to do what I wanted. But, uh, but when I was testing it using coal, to bring coal into some kind of engine. I don't think they were steam engines, they were some other kind of engine. Anyway, it seemed to work really well in with the coal. Um, so I'm gonna try to do, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try using the routers. I actually still have two routers. I only brought one with me here. I have to go get the other one eventually. But anyway, um, anyway, I'm gonna give it a try. Now, the reason I'm digging down here is this is, I'm gonna place a, a tank down here to hold water. I guess we have room to bring in one more here. Um, this is where the water is going to be. And I'm probably clearing out a lot more space than I need because that's my habit. Anyway, I've got I've got the timer on my, I've got a timer set here. Ugh. See, this, this, this clears that dirt way too easily. Okay, so three high, let's make it one. Let's go down one more just so I have room, make sure I have room. I'm going to build a, I'm going to build a uh, railcraft tank, an iron tank. Because I already have all the ingredients I need for an iron tank. Um, I already had them made for something else I did. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and... Uh, I like to grab stuff when I get when I see it. Okay. Okay, let's... Okay, I've got too much stuff in my inventory now. So let's... Oh, I have to drop that for a moment. Let's get rid of some stuff here. This dirt. And this, there we go. Okay, give me my stuff here. Okay. Copper, I still want that. because we're going to fill in these holes. Should I think of another joke? I don't know. Okay, now. Give me my stuff. Um, let's get this stuff out of the way. So we need this and this and this. And, oh, we need that eventually. We will need that. And I have pipes and on a rock. Okay, so uh, now a tank. Tank wall. Tank wall. This is going to be the smallest, let's see. I guess we can put it right there. Okay, so this is going to be the smallest tank that you can make. Three by three. I think that I have enough stuff for this. Because we do not need, uh, you know, this... Um, I don't think we have to have a huge, big supply of water. Oops, did that up quite quickly. There we go. And, oh, so I need, I need to be able to get up there because I did something I did not need to do it that way. I need to get rid of this this one and put in a valve right there. Okay. And then I can't get in there. Okay. We'll put another valve right there. And then we put then we need I need to put in glass in the other spots. Alright. And let's make sure we got the thing. 
of things spawning down here. Okay, good. Now, uh, okay, so this one, water, we're going to put this block right here. And, what did I not? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me move that back. There should be a tank. Hmm. Can you not make them three by three? Is this too small? Hmm. Maybe it has to be four high. I thought three was, I thought three was legit. I guess I better go look this up. Oh, okay, I have to pause. I will be back in just a moment while I check what the smallest size is. Maybe it has to be five by five or something. All right, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Apparently, I just checked out the wiki. That's usually what I'm doing when I say I have to go check on something is I look up a wiki. Um, it has to be four high. I guess not three high, so we gotta make it a little higher. Which means I probably have to clear out a little space above because I have to have room. I have to have a little headroom here for the pipes. Um, okay, that's good enough. Grab all this litter here. Okay, so we need more of this right here. Uh, I do not really want that one there. Give me that back. Okay. Because I can come up here. Um, there and there. And then these go on top. Oh, that doesn't need to be there. Uh, my cursor's being weird again. Or anything. Like I swing. It swings higher than I mean to. Okay, there. Or something. Um, you know, it's one of those problems with having a game that's based on Java, I think, is it all, it's kind of, I guess I, I need, I need a faster computer maybe, or more memory, I actually thought of buying more memory, but I never got around to it, okay, okay, so, valve right there, oh, I need to put more of these glass, whoops, Okay, glass here and here and there. Is that everything? And there. Now, if we write. Can valves not be in that spot? I'm pretty sure valve can be more on that top spot. What am I missing? Something's wrong. Glass, glass, glass. Glass. Hmm. Okay. Okay, maybe... It's been a while since I built one of these. Maybe that can't be there. Maybe it has to be there. So I'll try that. Put that there. Put that there. Alright, now is it going to work? No. Alright, I will be back again. Alright, I'm back again. Alright, I know that doesn't go there. I guess, I'm not sure what the problem is. I think maybe you have to, these things have to be placed in a certain order. So we're going to just break this down a little bit. And I found out that that, that valve is not really going to do what I want. Yeah, you can't drain out of the top. Which is what I was going to use that valve for, so that's not going to work. Okay. Let's take away that too. And so let's just, this might not really look very pretty, but so if I put this there and this there and that there, then that means that the frame is all built and the rest I'll put, um, I just have to think about where I want. I guess we can do it. Well, I already have room. 
let's put it here. We'll put one valve here and one valve here, and then, um, and then the rest go will be the glass. So, so no, I'm putting all the glass in last. Well, and the valves last, and not okay. So that m should work. There we go. Huh? Thank goodness that took a long time. Okay, so we'll put the water, um, this water source block, right there. And what do we do to get it to work? I did this before. Actually, I didn't. I didn't check to see if these things work with iron takes. I was just hoping they would. And it's possible that they don't. Let me go check. Uh, I need a good way to get out of here. I guess that'll work. Um, because I used, I used a water source block over here. Um, one of these Cycorium water source block things over here. Only I wasn't using an iron tank there. I was using the Zycraft tank, and I was just I didn't I didn't um I did not test this, but with the Zycraft tank, there's a valve. There's a valve back there, right right next to where the, the block is. And it kind of just automatically started filling up, if I remember correctly. I guess I could go, bo go back and look at that video and double check that. But I was hoping it would work the same way with, a, with an iron tank from Railcraft, because I already had all the stuff I needed for an iron tank. Uh, um, but now I'm thinking maybe it doesn't work the same way, which is, uh, unfortunate. Because I'm just going to have to scrap that tank if this doesn't work. Doesn't seem to be doing anything, and there's no interface on this, on this block, for me to do anything with it. Maybe if you put a lever there, it'll work. Um, um, let's try that real quick. I don't have a, I don't have a, a remote. I don't have remote access to my, uh, to my um. ME network here. Not thought it necessary, but maybe I should get one. Okay, so let's grab one lever. And if this doesn't do anything, and it probably won't, then I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to scrap that iron tank and put in a Zycraft tank. Okay, so first we'll try putting it right here. Nothing's happening. It should have started to do something if that were going to work. Okay, or let's see if we can put it right there. Nothing. Okay, that's a bust then. Alright, well, that just means we got to build a Zycraft tank instead. And what I think I will do is, since I've wasted enough time doing this, is I'm going to do that off camera, and uh, and then I'll come back and we'll try to do a little more of this build. I'm afraid I'm either going to have to do 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 it all off camera and show you what what I've the results I've come up with after I'm done, or I'll have to do it two episodes. But I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I will be back. I will be back as soon as I have a Zycraft tank built down there, and I'll show you what I got. All right, here I am. I have built a Zycraft tank. I built it with basalt, uh, basalt cobblestone, because that that was different, and I had some handy. And uh, and then we got glass viewer, you know, so you can see the see it filling up with water. Okay. So actually, when I first, when I, I just clicked, you know, when you have your structural built, you right click on one of the valves and then it makes the tank. Well, when I did that, Minecraft crashed. So when I came back here, I was expecting this not to be, uh, you know, a tank. And I thought, well, maybe you can't use uh, this basalt cobblestone. But here, the tank is here and I can right click on it and uh, have a, you know, storage. So I don't know. 
I don't know why I crashed, but it's working now. So I guess we will go ahead and go along with it now. Let's see where if I can remember where. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna put the valve or the uh, the water source block right there. Oh, and there. See, it's already filling up the water. That's much better. And it's gonna have way more water than we really need, right? Okay, so, which is great. Okay, so I need to, oh, so this other valve, this is where we're going to, we are going to pump out water here. So we need a wooden, uh, a wooden pipe and some waterproof pipe, which is right here. Okay, the wooden pipe, of course, is also waterproof and we need an Arctic gate. Okay, so we put this right here and then we could put pipes right here. Oops. Actually, I didn't need Thank you. Okay, here, 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 here. Am I sight? No, here. Okay, and then that is the way out. There. Okay. And then we put our gate right there, and then we set it to say if there is liquid in the tank, liquid in tank, energy pulsar. And it's already filling up the pipe. That is great. Now I need, I had a way out. Where did it go? Oh, here we go. Let me out. There. All right. Huh. Okay. I'll have to make a way down there. Um, in case I ever need to check on things, but I will do that at some other time. Or I guess I could just break my way in. Um, okay, so there's my pipe. Now, we gotta run this pipe underneath where the engines are gonna go, which is right here. Oops, I guess I could get rid of one of them. I'll get rid of all the ones except the ones on the ends to remind myself where everything is. Okay. Oh. Okay, and now I'm obviously not going to be able to get very much further on this, but let's see if I can get the pipes laid down anyway. Okay. And now, now it's very easy to get down here, huh? Okay, let's see if I have enough pipes here. Maybe I do. I'm laying out in a more, um, there's not, I don't have as many engines. I don't have enough engines made to fill up this whole area here that I've got laid out for engines, but eventually I will get more. I have to get more copper on my quarry before I'll have enough to make them all. I do have enough pipe. Come here, you. I guess we can get rid of this. There we go. Okay. So there's. There. And there. Okay, so there is the pipe. So when I lay, when I stick a. When I um, place a, a, reston, um, a steam engine down, it should fill up with water nicely. In fact, I guess we could test that right now by grabbing some engines. Uh, let's see. Let's place them down. All right. Let's see. Where should we start? We'll start on this end. Okay. So I'll put one right there. Do I need to? I don't need to do that. Um, I put too many, didn't I? I did. Oh, I guess it doesn't. Well. So I need to get, I need to grab two of these. And come right here. And then we need to turn them so they're facing the right way. Huh, why wouldn't that turn more than one? Doesn't, doesn't like that? What, 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 what? Holy crud. Okay, 
Hadi. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. We'll do this the other way. I'm not understanding that. I'm missing something. But if we put the... I think if we put the energy conduit down first... Do I have that? I don't. I must have used it for something else. Okay, let's see if I can do this really quick. Because I'm running out of time. Um, I believe if you have the ener energy conduit down, the, the engines will automatically orient themselves towards the energy conduit. I don't know why that wrench wasn't wasn't uh, turning them more than once. It seems rather weird. Okay. Because I thought I've done that before. Okay, so. We'll go ahead and lay this all the way down. Okay. Now, let's see if this will do what I want. There. 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 Good. There. Okay, that's four. We'll put four more here. One, two, three, four. All right. Now let's see if they're filling up with water. Yes, they are. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Whoops. And I guess we might as well go ahead and... Um, set these the right way not that these are running yet okay so see now now the next thing to do is you see if you place a router right here right there right and I should grab do I have any coal let's see if this will work let's see if we have time for one more did I set this thing let me check my time oh we're almost out of time all right let's see I'm just gonna try this one more thing just to show how this Actually, I could, if I show this, and if this works the way I think it is, I can do the rest. I can set the rest of the stuff up off camera and show at the end. Of, uh, there's my timer, and show this at the at the start of the next episode. So I just want to grab some car charcoal. <coughs> and the idea is, is um, <coughs> to uh, we want to get the charcoal into the engines, of course, because they're going to run on charcoal. You put the charcoal in here, it generates. It starts burning and generates steam and outputs energy into these conduits. Of course, that would be a silly thing to do at the moment because these conduits aren't leading to anything, but they will. Yeah, where are they gonna? They're gonna go. Where are they gonna go? Oh, they're gonna. They can. They can. I could. I could attach it right there real quick. But anyway, um, so to get the uh, coal into the. Um, into the engines, of course, we could just pipe them in using buildcraft pipes or pneumatic tubes. But another way to do it is to use this router. And uh, so we need to into top sides actually is just what we want. And I think I think it might already work just the way it is. See, there it did. See, you can see it's disappearing. It's um, just filling up. It's going to fill them up until there's 64 in each one, and actually, and the uh, engines are actually already working. Let's uh, turn them off because they're just wasting coal or charcoal running right now. But anyway, so you can see the idea. Now, so I have another router. I didn't grab it, but I'll put another router right there. And then the, the nice thing about this is it, 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 it sees, this router sees all the engines it's, that are uh, uh, touching it. It sees this engine because it's touching the router, and it sees this engine because it's touching that engine. So when I want to add more engines, I just plop them down right here, they will, of course, be getting water from uh, the pipes underneath them, and they will be getting coal magically from the router on this end. And then I just have to put another router right here, and it'll do the same thing on this side, right? which is really, really cool. And, uh, and then I'll have to do, so the next thing I have to do is just uh, duplicate this little setup right here with the, uh, the uh, redstone energy cell and the gates and stuff to tell, to be able to tell, um, the engines when they did need to turn on. So they will automatically keep the energy cell that'll be like right here. You know, it'll it'll fill it up when it's empty, let it drain out, and then when it becomes empty again, fill it back up again. So we won't be re wasting resources running when, when we don't need need uh, them to be running. So they'll be, they'll be like redstone wire running along the backs of them to tell them to turn on or off. 
That's pretty much, oh, and then I need a way to get charcoal. Then the only other thing is to get charcoal into the um, router. You can see it's empty now because it, it um, inserted all the charcoal into the, en the engines here. So I need a way to get the charcoal into the router and that will be using um, um, applied energistics. I'll just run a, an, I'll just run a cable there, and there's one not too far away uh, over here somewhere. I, uh, see, I can't stand the way this thing just jerks around. But anyway, there, there is a, one of the cables is, um, one of the cables from applied energetics. There's one right there, not too far away. So I just need to uh, set that up and then I'll put an, an export bus right on top of the router and it will um, feed charcoal into the top into the uh, into the router and then the router will feed charcoal into the um, engines I could have of course used I could of course use in applied energistics and export um, buses to insert charcoal into all the engines but I would need an export bus for each engine and run um, and run the cabling along the top you know of all the engines whereas if I use the router, and I already had two of these routers, if I use the router, I only need to use, you know, one export bus for each router, you know, and have the uh, the cabling just reach these two routers, and uh, I don't need to have export buses for every single engine. And it, and any time I add engines, you know, I just add the engine and it's already plugged in. Whereas if I were using export buses for each engine, with you know, without using the router, I would have to build. I'd I'd also have to add in the uh, export bus you know, for each engine I added. So the routers make the whole thing a little bit easier, a little bit easier. And it's just kind of cool the way it works. Anyway, so that is it. Since since I've shown you basically how this is going to work, I think I can just do the rest of it off camera. And then at the beginning of the next episode, I will show it all working. The only wrinkle is I haven't tested that the export bus from Applied Energistics actually will export charcoal into the top of a router. I don't know why it wouldn't, but it's possible it won't. In which case I will have to work around that somehow. Anyway, we will find out presently. So let me, oops, not that one, this one. Okay, so I will now say my adieu. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.